Do so I accept it in what sense? No, everything you say Bukhari is yes, 100%. It has to be authenticated. Oh, so you don't believe no, no, Sahih is Sahih? No, I'm no, asking you. Has. Do you I know the process? So Sahih is not Sahih? Wait, wait, wait. You put it inside. Oh, we did it? Yes. It's the Christians yes. that corrupted Sahih al-Bukhari, yes. not the Muslims. Yes. Does Sahih al-Bukhari say that Muhammad married a okay. six-year-old child? What's the logic? Does it say that? Explain the logic to me. Okay, I'll explain the logic. As a Christian, I will explain the logic. No, no, no. I'm going. No. So as go a Christian, on, on. you accept Say Bukhari? Yes? No. no. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ex I'll answer that question. I'll answer that question. There is nothing in the example of Jesus that a Christian would not like to imitate. But by comparison, there are many what things that Jesus? Muhammad did what that lots of Jesus? Muslims would never Jesus want Jesus to do. do and why? Because you those Muslims are better than Muhammad. Jesus says, hate your mother, hate your father, hate your brother, hate your sister, hate your wife, hate your children, and even hate yourself if you want to be my disciple. Is he not preaching hate there? Abbas has got himself in trouble here. Okay. Because the parable that Jesus tells portrays Jesus Christ as the judge of the world. Calling you dogs. Who is the judge of the world, Abbas, except Allah? Calling you Allah. dogs. So who is Jesus Christ? God. 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 Perfect. No, according to the Bible, Jesus the Bible is God. Is According to Bible, the word of our Abbas has agreed that the Bible teaches that Jesus is God. Well done, Abbas. Continue. He's one step closer to the truth. What's your problem, Bob? What's your problem? What's my problem? I was just repeating you. If you let me finish the sentence. Oh, wait! Did you just hear him complain? Didn't I predict that that is exactly what Abbas would do? You all heard him interrupt me through my answer, right? And now I'm interrupting him, he wants to complain about it. If you could let me finish my sentence. Funny Abbas, that is exactly how I felt five minutes ago. Continue. I'm a Christian brother, but let me tell you, a real Christian person would never say a single bad word about Thank Muhammad. You. What a lie! I think we have a plant, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. Do you believe Jesus is God? Do you believe Jesus? And you believe in the Trinity? Right, wait, wait one second. I'm going to expose this guy. Let me expose this guy. Do you believe Muhammad is a prophet? Do you now recognize? Do you believe Muhammad is a prophet? Let me tell you. He said yes. I said yes. He said yes. Let me tell him yes. Do you believe that Muhammad is a prophet of God. So you prepared to have a conversation based on divine truth or whatever you brainwashed to believe? Yes, I am Which having, I it? am willing to have that conversation. Yeah, but now answer my truth? question. Did you hear me answer his oh, question and say yes? So I maybe, just said yes. Okay. Now you Don't answer say. my question. Go on. Do you believe Muhammad is a prophet? As a man of God, if Muhammad said that he experienced divine world, I, as a follower of Christ, would never tell to him he's a liar. You aren't, you don't know the Christian faith. This, this I don't know Christian faith. You don't know Christianity. You don't know Christian faith. What you're teaching contradicts what the Bible teaches. Are you the saying Bible, the Bible? Whoa, 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 why are you interrupting? Go on. I thought you were the spiritual man. Go on. Remember how you jumped in earlier saying, you're a hypocrite because you interrupted Abbas, and now you're interrupting no. me. You're, you're doing it again. You spoke there you're Muhammad. doing it again. So, everyone who knows the Christian faith knows that what you're teaching is some kind of new age spiritual nonsense that has nothing to do with the teachings of the apostles. You said Muhammad was a prophet, you are in error. You don't trust what the Bible says. You reinterpret the Bible to match your theology that you're making up I see. for yourself. Okay. The and the Bible, the, the Bible condemns Jews private interpretation. I am a follower of Christ and the words of Christ. I'm not a follower. Where do you get of, the words of Christ from? From my heart. There you go. He's just done it. From my I am heart. a follower of Christ and the words of Christ that I get from my heart. Yes, and let me finish. No Christian thinks this way. What we have here is a guy 
who has his spirituality being influenced by the politics of the world. The politics of the world is pushing the idea of one Abrahamic faith, that all religions are the same, that they all teach the same. And he has imbibed that and he's communicating it through his sense of spirituality. But his sense of spirituality has no authority within the Christian church.